So here's a quick question. How many different arrangements can be made from the letters of the word parallelogram if the S can't be put together? So we want to see how many arrangements we can make from this word here. And uh, the restriction is we don't have to put the S next to each other. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do first is to find the total number of arrangements or permutations for that matter that can be formed from this word here. So let's see how many items these are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So these are 13 items or 13 letters. So the total number, uh, the total number of arrangements the total number of arrangements, that's going to be equal to 13 factorial. But wait a moment, that's not uh, the actual number of total permutations because that's quite much. As you can see here, if I, if I switch this A from here to here and I bring this here, you wouldn't actually notice the difference. Or if I change this L from here to here and I put this here, you still wouldn't notice the difference. So to get the actual number of the total arrangements, I have to divide by the factorial of each of the uh, repeated items in the list. So we have, let's look at the S, we have 1, 2, 3, so I have to divide by 3 factorial. Uh, what else is repeating? We have R here and here, so that's a 2 factorial, and then we have L's, 3 of them. So there we go, so that's going to give us the total number of uh, our arrangements that can be formed from here and let me just put that quickly on the calculator so all right so that's uh eight six four eight six four zero zero okay so that's the total number of arrangements so let's look at the second part of the question if the a's can't be together and uh, it's actually quite hard to apply these restrictions of the a's not being next to each other or not being together so what I'm going to do here is to find the uh, possible ways of arranging this thing if the S are put together. So uh, let's just go ahead and do that. So if the S are put together, uh, I mean if all the S, oh, should I put that here? So if all the A's are put together like next to each other so we'll have this A here and another one here and also this one here it doesn't really matter where they are but if we put them together we can count them as just a single item and so our total number of items is going to remain 13 but um, because the A's are put together and we can't really distinguish which is which uh, we'll just be carrying them together as one item so the total number of items reduces to 11. Let me show you. So I'll count without the S. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then all these S are put together uh, to form the 11th item because they'll be moving together as we form different arrangements. So let's, let's see how many arrangements we have. So the number of possible arrangements the number of possible arrangements okay so that's going to be 11 factorial and then uh, I'll just divide that by let's see how many letters are repeating now that the A's are put together we just take them as one item it's not repeating so we have the three L's which repeat so that's time 3 factorial uh, sorry divide by 3 factorial and then we have what else we have the R's this and this so as times 2 factorial. Let's put that on the calculator still to see what we get. So that's 11 factorial divided by, so we have 3 factorial, which is 6, and 2 factorial, which is just a 2. So we have 332600. Zero, zero. So that's the total number of uh, possible arrangements that we can make if we put the S together. Now that we have the total number of possible arrangements and the arrangements if the A's are put together we can now find how many arrangements if the A's can't be put together I'll just do that by subtracting this number from this so just use another color here so if if the A's are not next to each other 
So we just have uh, this. So so we just have eight six four eight six four zero zero minus three three two six four zero zero and let's see what that is which is eight three one six zero 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 so there we go that's eighty three million nine hundred and sixty thousand uh possible arrangements that we can make from this letter if the a's can't be together thanks for watching this video if you find it helpful give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't and i'll see you in my next video bye